Hi friends, today we're going to make a budget-friendly bubble fountain for outside. So my mom bought this really cool black pot last year on sale at Lowe's and she gave it to me. So the pot was free. I also had this little fountain pump that I bought last year at Lowe's and I tried to make a fountain and really got busy and didn't do anything with it. So I have that already. The first thing I did was add the fountain cord and I just fed that through the hole in the pot. I then turned the pot over and pulled the cord all the way through. The pot's pretty heavy so it was a little difficult to do and film at the same time. The next thing I did was use this all-purpose silicone that we had left over from our building process to seal the holes and to stabilize the pump. There were two holes in the pot, one where the cord was sticking through and then another drainage hole. So I sealed both of those. I do recommend that you wear gloves because I like to never ever got the silicone off my fingers. They were sticky all day. After I did that, my little girl and I went and saw the Super Mario Brothers movie. It was super cute, highly recommend it, so it dried all day. When we got home, I turned the pot over and sealed the bottom of the pot. I did not use my fingers that time. I then let that dry really good while I planted some other flowers around the house. I then added some rock, like I said this is low budget so I didn't buy any rock to put in it, I just used the little compaction rock that we already had and I added water. It took about two buckets, I didn't want to fill it too full because I wanted the bubbling effect. After I finished adding the water, I plugged in the cord and it started right up with a beautiful bubbling sound. So the total cost today for this project was zero. So this was a perfect addition to our little outside sitting area. Eventually we're going to add a deck on the back and so this is going to be a nice peaceful place to sit in the evenings.